Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from My Just Electronics. Today we are reviewing, checking out Ombron NB Series HMI. Uh, it's one of their latest, I think. I believe it's one of their latest. And uh, I had this uh, uh, little unit in my stock for a while. And today I'm going to uh, pretty much check it out and how it works, things like So what we're going to do uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, doing a program upload, download and also doing a firmware update and things like that. So I'm gonna show you how things are done. The software for this, it's free from our Omron website, which is called MB Designer. And once you download MB Designer, probably by clicking the link in the description below, it'll take you there and you can download that. And once you install it, you get the MB Designer and MB Manager. Uh, both of them are more or less uh, useful for uh, this uh, particular screen. So we're gonna be checking out all the communications right in the back, all the ports and blah, 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 all the stuff that we need to more or less check it out so uh so yeah and uh any related manuals and anything that i believe would benefit you in any possible way i will leave them all in the description below so don't forget to check it out so without further ado let's get started <music> Before we get started, let's quickly have a look at this back in here. So we have that three ways of communicating with our uh, thing with the, with our laptop uh, is RS two 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 port in here, which is the standard cable uh, RS two uh, RS two 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 cable. You can get, have a look at the pinouts in a manual if you wish to. It will be in the description below. Ethernet buffer Ethernet if you want to communicate with your PC, you need to be in a uh, what's it called a system setting mode. That way you are be able to uh, set this uh, set this up uh, via the Ethernet cable, and most commonly, what a lot of people are going to use is this guy in there, USB communication. This is the easiest way to communicate if you wish to do so. And obviously, then you have a uh, another uh, uh, host in there where you can uh, add your recipes and other things via the USB stick. So uh, in here, you can see down there is four uh, dip switches. That pretty much tells you in here what mode is what. Today we are going to be doing a uh, are going to be doing a quick. Um, firmware update we're gonna to need to be in a downloader mode once you're in download mode you should be able to uh, do in your uh, firmware update we're just gonna show that in a minute and also the last thing with not least there's a dip switches in there which is those dip switches in there pretty much gives you an idea what you need to do to achieve each mode and this button in here is your reset button in here the one you can click and if you without unplugging the controller you can reset the control and that's pretty much the back of it yours by the way could be a little bit different so depending on sometimes they have two ports and things like that, the bigger they go. So, but more or less it looks like uh, so. First thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do the firmware update. So make sure the first dips, which as I do in here, are, is up and basically you're gonna be in this download mode. So let's jump on the laptop and uh, get this firmware updated. Here we are. So uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, quickly show you how to get that uh, software. Once you click the link in below, it'll take you to this page. Click downloads and uh, software, and there is going to be your MB Designer setup. So you do need to make sure you are uh, logged in, otherwise it will not let you download it. So do make sure that's the case. So this is how you get pretty much the software. After that, we're not going to go into MB, MB, MB Designer because we don't really need it to update our firmware. And there's another thing I want to make uh, point out is make sure you back up your uh, uh, file or whatever the project, whatever you got in your screen, because this will wipe off the whole thing. So if you want to quickly see what your version is, is there, so uh, we are obviously communicating with USB. You can uh, you can use serial. I'm not sure. I've never done it with Ethernet, so I'm not sure. So I can't comment on that one. But I usually use USB. Uh, so yeah, from there on, just uh, go to the system operations and uh, yeah. So click this uh, right thingy first. And once you get that one done, let me just. I think my window, my camera is in the way. So and then really click this uh, right root FS, whatever that means. I don't know. So uh, here we go, you can see that's happening. So it takes a bit longer time than uh, the other one. Well, that pretty much will pre sum up and uh, uh, get your uh, version update to the latest uh, firmware. So uh, that's pretty much is that. So come on. I've already done done before, so I, this is just demonstration purposes. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to see what, what was the difference. So uh, come on. 
So yeah, when you finish, make sure you are uh, take the switch off again. At, uh, switch that first, but first dip switch off and then put it back in a normal mode. And you should be good to go. So here we go. That's pretty much done. Our version's been updated. Back to the same one, as you can see, I already had that one. So that's pretty much done. So next up, let's jump on to the actual uh, programming. Here we are. So uh, let's jump on to a MB Designer now and create a small project, as you can see. Uh, because we did the... Uh, full firmware update we got no project in there and as new as well it's going to be the same screen like that so uh, from there on let's just create something very basic now we're not gonna connect to the plc or anything like that what is it what I, what is do i have n3 that's the that's the one i oh that's the oh we need to create a new one and you're gonna call it a test here we go it opens up the window and uh, from there on just drag your screen and uh, we're just going to click put something on on the actual HMI. We're not going to even uh, configure this guy as well. Let's just go straight into actual uh, window itself and let's dump a couple of switches on that. So that'll be one. And this is just to demonstrate the upload download. The download is easy, upload is a bit of a interesting one. Let's get that one on it. Yeah, it's just a bar on it. Why not? Yeah, I'll do somewhere down here whatever that means yeah here we go so let's uh this there's obviously a guy this is not programming video really. there's a lot more to it this is really good screen it's 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 it's, it's, it's it is for the price to pay and uh free software it's pretty good i think so um so yeah and once you're done uh, you can it, it run in this window just now the project option set in the not no, it's just is you go in here transmission settings you can in here set up uh, what sort of communications you're going to have so we're going to be usb blah, blah blah so this is the windows more or less that could uh, where you set up your communications and in here you just click downloads and that will compile your project make sure that there is no little no problems right there in the bottom it says warning zero errors uh, and la 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 so this is all good communications blah blah so let's uh, pump that in there so here we go now we drum dump everything as you can see on the, on the side of the corner down there is putting a project in there so let's say the project is in there now and blah blah and as you can see it popped up on the screen is more or less is is ready so the next one let's pump it out and to pump it out we don't even have to have this open so uh we can just uh, close this off all right so i'll show this one down as well let's go for nb manager from there on we're gonna go into uh, upload operation and let's just just get a project across and we click in there and then we're gonna call it a test we didn't even say the last one we're gonna call it test again and pump the whole thing out. So uh, the password, it by it's just quite a weird thing for this for this HMI. It's it's by default taking the password, and uh, I'll look in the in future uh, program videos. which uh, look at the remove it, but in case you ever encounter a password, just it's a six eight. Uh, six eights and it should, it should be good to go. Usually, as I said, a lot of people don't even bother with that; they just leave it as is. But by default, it's six eight. So uh, do make that do bear that in mind. So when you upload the actual file, it uploads that as a one as like a document and things like that. You, you and, and you can't really open it with MB Designer because you need to decompile it. This is the one thing which was really odd. One the being was like, what is going on? Why is my why is my file that I download? I can't even open it anyways because it's it's compiled project and it's like a single file. I presume that's easier to I don't know uh, trans uh, uh, to uh, uh, download. I don't know. So whatever the reason, because it's the last bit of it. I'm not. But I put it in so quickly and taking it out is so long. I don't know what in the hell is going on. Hopefully with the uh, maybe with the net internet. When again we're gonna test in the future with Ethernet. Probably gonna be. Hopefully it's gonna be a bit. Uh, faster so we've got uh, we got several i mean quite a lot of cplc's to test from omron family so uh just to give us a good idea what's going on as you can see i've got cx1 already and i've got a whole cx uh, family in my in my uh, computer so as you can see in here i'm going to lower this because i'm going to keep that open. as you can see it it came up with it like that as a file it's so like a k uh, pkj file so that's some, nothing you can do with it. So uh, that's something you need to convert it, uh, decompile. And to do that, just go into a decompile, select the file, make sure you're going there in the right uh, 
thing uh, right folder where it is and then select where you're gonna send that in the same uh, same folder and then just quickly decompile it and obviously he's asking for this goddamn passport again one two three four five six six eight and there we go decompile it is done and once you've done that so that should be enough and uh there we go you got a folder in here we open up and there is our test and let's open up and there's all go well there we go there is pretty much our project and that ladies and gentlemen how you upload download uh update your firmware for mb series hmis and in the future we're going to be looking into connecting to the plc's there's several different plc's to test to to check them out so yeah stay tuned so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching if you like the video smash that like if you didn't smash the dislike comment below any questions anything like ask and i will answer them as soon and as uh, accurate as i can and other than that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video